Hey everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Time Spinner. Alright, we have some exploration to do down below here. I was actually uh, off camera looking at my uh, the various orbs here. I don't want to just exclusively use the blood orb here forever. Um, but I don't really know what else to use down here. Might need to do a little uh, discovery here. So these are definitely weak to fire. So we'll certainly use the fire for this. I bet these are too. In fact, I would guess almost everything down here is probably weak to fire. Ah, I really gotta be more careful about running into those poisons. Yeah, and the uh, even the damage over time does quite a bit of damage to those. The, uh, the attack ranges on these enemies are huge, though. It's a bit problematic. This room is extremely suspicious. Sure, we'll see something of that, perhaps. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's okay. Let's do one of these. Not that I'm in particular danger, but, uh. Ah, so we definitely. I mean, we could just get across there, but. A lot of these, like, empty altars are pretty curious. And enemies. Really, just a jerk. Interesting again that there are these. I mean, I suppose we'd need that to get back up, but. It's just, I don't know, almost kind of nice to see them still using that mechanic, even though we've uh, kind of bypassed that. Ah, there we go. It's an antidote, huh? Alright. You insist? Getting close to that, uh, 999. Ooh, nice stash there, ectoplasm. Hmm, is this gonna go back to the surface? Did get the poison there. Another antidote. I mean, all right. I would love to see something other than antidotes here, but at least I'm getting them. Now these guys, oh, they're also weak to fire. It does seem like a lot of the stuff tends to be location based. Boy, this goes much further than I was expecting in this particular direction. Ooh. I don't think I can make it over there. Huh. Oh, oh my. I don't think I wanted to go that far down. Well, I don't have much of a choice now. Oh, hello. Uh, wow, okay, that is much further down than I originally wanted to go here. Take care of you. Uh, I wonder if this connects on the other side. Easily take out these guys here. You can probably sell off these tails at some point, I would imagine. Yeah, it does look like this might connect. Ooh. Alright, we can finally get this test properly here. It does. Okay, that's good. Just to make sure. Max health up. I will take that. And the reason I say properly is the last time I accidentally had the, uh, the scythe orb on them. Again, I didn't particularly expect that they wouldn't, but... Wanted to make sure. Yeah, so this connects here. So that does give me an avenue to go back if I want to um, to that pit. Save point here. But do I want to go to that pit right now? Let's say and explore uh, the lower left first, actually. Yeah. 
And then we can go and see what's in store for us on the... Okay. Silver ore. We still don't know what that is. And it's strange to me that... It's, it's obviously something different. Because we have the gold rings and such. Well, what exactly is it? That is the question. Sixty-seven hundred. Um, can't wait to spend what's probably money cap on an item that potentially does nothing. So if we're gonna go this way, I need to make sure that um, I don't fall all the way down. And I'm, I'm fairly certain there's no way for me to get across this entire gap here. Which is curious, to say the least. Yeah, there's no way for me to get across that. Um, Alright, there is here though. And maybe this even loops around? Oh! Wind orb. Boy, there are so many orbs. Uh, all right. Hmm. Maybe we'll replace blood orb for now with that. Just to see what it's like. Oh, this is, wow, this is an incredibly, incredibly fast dagger. How curious. Oh, and so it, whoa. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I think I got myself stuck in the floor for a second. Apologies for that horrible shift of frame rate there. That was, that was kind of wild. So this does count as like a physical. Unless maybe things have more than one weakness. Is that true? Oh God, I mean, uh, Siren. Yeah, it does have more than one weakness. I don't entirely know what those symbols are, but, uh, hmm. Oh, hello! Ancient Frail, huh? I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, pal, but, uh, can I get behind you? I can. Oh, Mother of- oh, he already died. Oh, wow, okay, this is a big upgrade. Defense, will, fortitude, sure. Uh, does he come back? I kind of feel bad for killing him. I mean, only a little, though, because he gave me loot. Oh, he is gone forever. Oh, no, he is not. Oh, so his shell is solid while he is alive. He is very easy to kill with this, though. Um, kind of tempted to try to farm him for another one of those items. So if I could equip two of those, that would be stellar. These are obviously very strong to the dagger. Interestingly, though, it looks like we... Uh, you always restore at least one health with the Sanguine, so... Oh, it does turn around. So I'm kind of restoring an enormous amount of health with this. I didn't even drop anything that time. wonder how much um, experience he gives, too. Sorry, pal. Windorb is still level 1, huh? That is... it's kind of crazy. Alright, I don't think he's gonna drop another one of those. At least not right this moment. Ooh, can make it up there.
And there's a treasure chest, which contains silver ore. What do we use this for? Uh, as a uh, great artist once said, or what is it good for? Hey, here we go. Naivete. Alana. You're a Neve if you think that allowing these Lachimi to believe that they have truly escaped my iron by declaring some kind of independence will prevent eventual strife. More powerful than I think they are, more likely to initiate conflict. It's a world of criminals. No need to antagonize them directly. We are powerful, they are weak. If you think they will remain peaceful, I invite you to go visit them. Go as an ambassador and see how they respond to diplomacy. See that it is hopeless, and when you return, I shall prepare a strike force to remind them and our citizens who holds the power. You, sir, are a jerk. I mean, perhaps they are criminals, but, uh... Are they, though? That's, that's the question I'm wondering. Are they really criminals? Alright, they're strong to that also. Although, I mean... Oh, another one of these guys. Sorry, pal. Hey, a portal down here. Uh, have we explored everything else around here? Except for that, um... That space up top. Oh. This area is... This is like Chozo Ruins type of area here. Oh, this is unsettling. Oh, Plasma Crystal! We needed that for the quest, right? Yep. Nice. We actually only have one other quest. Plasma oh, Pod Cores. Those might be in here, too. Um, this area is really unsettling. Save point in here. It's kind of nice. And we have. Oh, that's a boss door. Alright. Uh, let us explore a bit over here. Uh, maybe not, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Where does this go? Ah, okay. So that opens that. Um, nice. Bunch of archers here. They are weak to that. We, of course, will learn the magic and such for this as well. We have an opportunity. But there's a treasure chest up here, which is why I came back up. Elemental beads, alright. Um... I, I kinda, before we fight this boss, I kinda wanna explore a little bit. And, uh... Maybe even make the wind magic before we, uh, before we take that on. Just because we're in the area. That was me expecting I would float, because I forgot already. Oh, you are very strong to that, in fact. <laughs> That's an antidote. Gee, thanks. You have more than uh, 500 health now, which is kind of wild. It's got to be something out here, other than just that antidote. I'll check. Yep, oh, there we go. There's an upgrade. Max aura up, don't mind if I do. And anything else? No. Uh, there's one more spot to the right. Another antidote, great. I 
can't change the color of my orb settings, can I? I kind of wish I could. So we're going to have a, a slight decrease. We need fire, right? Oh yeah, we got the mushrooms here too. Yeah, we're going to have a slight decrease towards our goal of uh, capping out our money here, but... A worthy cause. There's gotta be something down here. Question is, what is it? Also nice that we can continue to use fire underwater. I guess it is magical fire. Another upgrade. Max sand up. Nice. I feel like... Um, as silly as it may sound, I think those upgrades are the most important, because I think you still get health and aura just from leveling up. Uh, I may not be correct on that. But I think you do, whereas uh, you don't get sand from leveling up, I don't think. So that's kind of the most valuable resource, especially because it, there's really some significant checks in terms of making sure that you stop time for long enough. All right, we'll quickly head back to the library. Very convenient that the library is on the same tile as the uh, upgrade here. Might be able to sell some things too. Um, yeah, synthetic plume doesn't sell for like anything, but it's useless to us now, so. Sell a Traveler's Cloak. And we will buy... Let's see, we need to buy... We have a necklace. We don't have a ring, though. We need to buy two Essence Crystals. Should be good. We can also turn in one of those quests, at least. Which may provide us with the next step. But let's upgrade this first. Right, Storm Eye. Surround yourself with raging winds that tear nearby foes apart. Tailwind Ring. Spends aura points to strengthen melee attacks. Oh, I like that one. And uh, let's just throw an upgrade on the wind orb here. Uh, all right, so let's check out the storm eye. Oh, that's interesting. And tailwind ring. How much does it take per? Doesn't seem to take any unless we hit a target. That's actually kind of nice. Alright, so that's the crystal. I slept and I dreamt. It's back in Valette for this war. So are the Emperor rise to power with his powerful magics. It's how they took anyone with magical gifts to raise in their cloister castles, and how they treated those who had no magic, like second class citizens. All the Valetian Empire's enemies gathered up and forced through the portal to this world, the war, the things they've done. Being here now, seeing what the bleakness can do. Hmm. It was just a dream. Ah. Uh, yeah, seems you can understand why they're so angry. Their actions may be wrong, but I can't say Valets have ever been any better. I'll talk to Harris still about it. That might not go so well for you. Oh, we have two more quests unlocked here, though. What did they say? It's our duty to be the cannon fodder. Oh, jeez. Check the magically gifted with our lives. Escape through the portal before the Lachim could take it and left you to die. Yeah. I like his thumbs up. He's recovered a bit. Good. I'm sure I'll ever fully recover. We still have the facilities. Treatments here without better medicine, I don't know. Hmm. Sure, we can find something. Ah, I bet there's better medicine in my time. Maybe we can still help him. 
Alright. Uh, unfortunately, I think I might have closed myself off of his quest, unless it was a combination. Might have botched that. Uh, let's just quickly go back and forth here. Might do the boss fight, actually, at the start of next episode. Okay, there we go. Feeling any better? Mostly. Well, a little. And yeah, what can we do? Stay and talk. He's been such a help to everyone else in the camp. Sakis has been really good to me, keeping me company and whatnot. This is a nice group of people. I think I like Sakis a lot. You told him. No, I'm worried. Why? Back home, he wouldn't have looked at me. He wouldn't have been. Wouldn't have supposed to. He's a higher class, magically talented, not like me. Such bullcrap. Born with magic and get whisked away into their academies. Meanwhile, the rest of us slip up once we get arrested or banished or killed. I think Sakis might like you. Even if he does, he'll never say it. I don't know about that. And you do need some rest. I want to give him something. Maybe it'll help. Ah, silver ore. Maybe from the caves. Sure thing. There you go. This is what I can find. You alright, buddy? It's perfect, thank you. I hope... Well, thank you. Hmm... Oh, quest from Sekus now. Just lost in thought. Thinking about a certain cute portal guard? Yeah, but... This makes me mad. Condemned to that blasted sickness. We all have it, he just has it worse. It's just bad luck. He didn't have to get it in the first place. He wasn't forced to stay here, we got trapped. Oh, if he wasn't forced to stay here, we got trapped, he was told. No one should have that power. Besides, some people get fewer rights just because of how they were born. Some people have to live with disease. Not my usual cheery self today. Ah, I've seen the Lushimi riding Shiver into battle. They've been raising the birds to be big. You know, much bigger difference for our rations than the little guys around here. Also to keep Paris still happy. Hmm. Meat be any good. Giant Warbird flesh, huh? Alright, if you insist. Hmm, I wonder where that comes from. There is that one particular big one I've seen. Well, I think we'll wrap up for now. Continue next time, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I will... See you soon.